Welcome to Cooking and Crafting with Margaret and Mia. This week we have a special guest, my baby sister, Ashley Kelsey. Uh, this week we are going to be working on epoxy cups and Margaret is going to do a special version of her cup in which she is going to use Mod Podge. So first, Margaret, please show us what you will be using for your project and then we will go to Ashley. Hello, I'm going to use a black cup. Today is the last day of February, so I'm doing a cup for Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So just a, any kind of mug you want to use, <clears throat> Mod Podge. Mm -hmm. And then I have some clippings from a ribbon mm -hmm. with, um, these are the two ones. And her friend sent her that I sent. Yeah, Mia mailed them to me. Yes. Um, read that she uh, made. Mm -hmm. And then a brush. So that's all I'm going to use to make my um, my mug. Okay. Ashley? All right. And I'm going to be doing a mug, but I'm going to be doing an epoxy mug. So I've got my tumbler. I have a 10-ounce uh, stainless steel tumbler. Mm -hmm. I use painter's tape uh, to tape off my lid. So you'll need some painter's tape. Um, I use a... 220, um, 220 grit, uh, what is this, uh, um, just the sander to sand the cup down. Okay. Sometimes on sand cups paper. we have um, a clear coat on it, so you just okay. want to get that off. Okay. And then also you need um, some type of primer. Okay. So I just use the Rust-Oleum. I got it from Walmart. It's like four or five bucks. Okay, and I am also going to be um, creating an epoxy mug, and I just wanted to share two of my favorites. Uh, this is one that my sister created for me, that Ashley created for me, and That's really nice. this is one that I created for my husband for Valentine's Day, so these are two of my favorites, uh, but I have my turner. Uh, you need this to turn your cup while you have the epoxy, while you're applying the epoxy so that it can dry evenly. Um, I also have some alcohol ink it's a pigment paint um, to make your cup or whatever you're working on to make it fancy you can make it look like it has a marble uh, finish and I have my cup and I have some alcohol it's very important to spray your cup first to remove all of the oils to spray it with alcohol so those are the items that I have and of course I have my epoxy that I'm going to use to coat my cup what color are you making yours? I Ashley? think I'm going to make my cup red. You're going to make yours um, red? Yes. Uh-huh. Now, this particular cup that I am getting ready to prepare right now, it is actually going to be a wood grain cup. I have a customer who wants a, a cup that looks like wood grain. So I'm going to do a wood grain in this cup. Um, but by the time we meet again, I will have a cup that I will be epoxying and probably doing some cheetah glitter, some cool stuff on it. Oh. So when, when we meet again, wow. I will be doing, I'll be doing one of my big tumblers. These are already prepared, but I'm going to show you how to prepare this. So it looks like this and you can get started. Okay. You want to go on and give us your steps. All I'm going to do is put some Mod Podge on my cup. Mine is really simple. So Ashley, you want to go step-by-step step on what you're doing and I'll just yeah. angle my camera to show what I'm doing. Okay. That sounds good. All right, so the first thing I did, um, and I did this before getting on camera, I just taped off the lid of my cup. That way it has, it's gonna have the stainless steel lip. You do not have to do this. Um, again, here's a cup I'll be doing in the future. I did not tape off the lid. Um, so it's up to you and what you want on that. I've already sanded this cup down. So I use my um, 220 grit sandpaper and I've sanded it down and I've washed it already. But before I get ready to spray it, I am going to go ahead and take some alcohol because I've been handling it and I'm going to clean it off um, just to make sure that it's clean and there's no oils on it. So I'm doing that right now. Um, then um, now when I get ready to handle it, I'm just going to make sure that I touch um, the part that I've taped off. Um, kind of a little hack that I came up with. Um, actually, my husband came up with mm -hmm. it. But uh, <laughs> I put it on this cardboard. That way, whenever I'm spraying it, I can just turn the cardboard. That way I'm spraying all around. Oh, so that's if, neat. 
it's on a piece of um, cardboard right now. So I am going to move my items back and I'm going to go ahead and spray this real quick. Okay. Um, hopefully I won't spray my phone, <laughs> but um, you want to make sure that you shake up your spray. And then when you are spraying, it's going to be small, short bursts because you don't want any streaks in your cup. Um, if you end up getting streaks in your cup, you're probably going to either have to apply acetone and get it all off or resand the cup and respray it again. So and that's you, too much have, work. What did you say? I said, and that's too much work. Well, but it's not the end of the world if it happens. So um, you could still fix the cup. Okay. Um, so, but I'm going to um, have a gentle hand and I'm just going to spray it right now. So, and I'm just turning. Make sure when you're um, spraying it that you are in a well ventilated area. Um, don't spray it in your house. <laughs> and because I am using the alcohol ink on this particular cup, I definitely want to make sure I don't have any streaks. I think I'm going out of the camera. Um, no, I can so see. I, I want to be careful that I don't have any streaks. Now, if I end up with streaks on a cup where I'm going to use epoxy and glitter, it's um, it's a little bit more forgiving. So, I mean, I don't know if you could see it. You probably can't, but there are a few streaks in this cup. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it. My glitter is going to cover that. Um, but with the alcohol inks, um, especially on the wood grain, because it's not super duper dark, I do want to be careful. Um, with not having streaks there. But that's all I'm going to do with this one. I mean, I'm going to check it in probably two, another hour or so just to see if I need another coat. Um, and if I don't, it'll be good to go. It'll be ready for me to apply my, um, my ink, my 